So the past few days I've been working in Unreal trying to get a basic understanding of meta sounds and the workflow for them. And uh, another thing was doing a uh, delay based on the distance. Typically at extreme ranges, we'll see a muzzle flash before you will hear the noise. Um, the speed of light is faster than the speed of sound. Uh, and so I kind of wanted to do something like that in my game. So let me just show you a little example of what I have working right now. You can see uh, I have this little guy kind of out in the distance from my character, this small window here on the right. Um, and uh, the sound listener is located on the bigger guy in the background here. Um, so if I go ahead and I fire this revolver off, you can see how long that takes. Um, so now if I get a little bit closer here, it's a lot closer to being in sync. And by the time you're really close on top of someone, it is basically perfectly in sync. It is the simplest math you could possibly do to calculate something like this. Let's just go ahead and take a little look-see at the actual meta sound I have set up here. I have a very basic meta sound here. Uh, any meta sound that I want to have delayed by the speed of sound to the listener, I implement this one single meta sound patch and I feed in a distance input. So let's go ahead and take a look at the patch. And that's it. Very simple. I am not a smart man, so I like to do not a smart man math, you know? Uh, as little of it as I possibly can get away with is how much math I would like to do for literally anything. So let me walk you through how to create this patch. Go to your content browser, right click, audio, meta sounds, meta sound patch. Call it uh, delayer by speed of sound or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm going to open that up. This uh, patch is not going to do anything to audio. This is just going to be strictly delaying the trigger that plays our shooting sound effect. So we're gonna add one input, and that input uh, down here in the details panel, we're gonna change it from a float to a trigger. And then we're going to have one output, and we're gonna change that from a float to a trigger as well. Um, go ahead and drag them wherever you want on your graph. So now, if I come back over to my revolver shoot, just go ahead and, what did I name that guy? delayer by speed of sound, uh, I can pull that patch immediately directly into my shooting sound effect graph and call play when I connect the input and the output. And you can see it just goes straight through it. Nothing actually is being delayed right now. So what we're going to want to do is drag our input pin over here and we're going to do a trigger delay. And then we're going to drag that output over here. So currently this is set to one second delay time. Um, so if I hit play now on my shooting sound effect, it will delay by one second every time I want to play it, which is not that useful. So we need to be able to get the distance between the sound effect and the person listening to the sound effect and divide that distance by the speed of sound. Unreal, really luckily, has a lot of um, interfaces built into meta sounds. Uh, one of them, the very first one you'll see, is UE attenuation. So if you click that, it's going to give you an attenuation distance node. Input is automatically filled in by Unreal Engine when this patch exists. So this will always get you the exact distance in centimeters between the audio source and the audio listener. Now, if we were to just try and plug this directly into our trigger delay here, you're going to get some very wonky feeling sound. If we're 10 centimeters away, that shit sucks. We need to take the distance from the sound source to the listener and divide that by the speed of sound. Um, so we're just going to take our distance uh, float and we're going to add a divide by float. And if we just go ahead real quick, speed of sound in meters, 
we get 331.29 meters meters to centimeters and we just go ahead and toss in 331 uh 33,129 centimeters if we just go ahead and divide our distance by 33,129 and then we drag this pin out and we convert this to time and we plug it in here now we have everything we need for our sound to be delayed exactly by the speed of sound how long that would actually take to cover that distance now if we come back over here hit play you'll notice there's no delay here in testing and this took me a while to figure out was that patches even when you have an input routed for a patch that is their interface you still have to feed in that patch our delayer by speed of sound is using the attenuation distance and our revolver will now have to similarly implement the attenuation interface and we will just feed that directly into our patch and now um if we go ahead and test in our scene all right we're close get a little further away and now if we get way way the fuck out here in the hills and we go ahead and fire you have a really nice very consistent delay that is less apparent when you're close and very apparent at extreme ranges um, so now anytime i ever have a meta sound that i want delayed based on distance i can just go ahead and click into my graph add a delayer by speed of sound drag in a distance attenuation interface and delay that trigger uh perfectly every single time and i never have to think about calculating distances ever again it is just something so simple that will work in every fucking graph that i make for the rest of time oh my god this shit is so fucking basic feeling and simple but i could not find a single person who would just give me a straightforward answer on whether or not this is fucking possible uh so i hope any of you find this fucking useful because this shit uh last final note about the distance attenuation interface you'll notice that this goes from zero to one right so at zero distance there's no delay and then when you want to test that you crank it to one well there's still no delay that is because unreal's default unit size is one centimeter so by default the attenuation interface comes into your meta sound source graph as a clamped zero to one value but that does not actually mean when you're in game that that value will be clamped from zero to one it will actually be something like 10,000 units it just only appears this way in your graph so if you want to test if this is working in your graph or you're using any of these interfaces uh, that they give you and just need to actually test larger numbers that are not zero to one centimeter um, like i want to test say what does this delay sound like at 100 thousand centimeters right so i increase the range of this now when i hit play it takes about three seconds uh because a hundred thousand units divided by uh, thirty one thousand whatever uh uh units uh, centimeters as the speed of sound um is giving us about three-ish seconds um so uh you don't actually have to do or set this interface it can still remain a range from zero to one in your graph just know that when you actually are using the interface in game it's going to just be getting the actual absolute distance between the listener and sound source um it took me so long when testing to try and figure out that that was actually happening uh because i kept trying to multiply this value times other inputs and sending all kinds of shit everywhere that just didn't need to be sent and complicating it whatever here you guys go delay your meta sounds by the speed of sound have a good fucking night